dear students continuing with our lecture series on named reactions this is our 19th lecture and in this lecture we will explain how uh, hajos parish reaction uh, is involved in uh, formation of a carbon carbon bond uh, and uh, how asymmetric uh, compounds they can be synthesized uh, using uh, this reaction hajos uh, parish reaction uh, which is also called as hajos parish adder sawyer wishard reaction <clears throat> because uh, at different stages of this reaction uh, different types of uh, substrates they were used uh, for the synthesis of uh, new organic compounds having uh, a new carbon carbon bond and uh, one thing was common uh, in all these uh, substrates that uh, the catalyst uh, involved was a proline catalyst and this reaction basically is an intramolecular or intramolecular aldol reaction Uh, and uh, this was the first asymmetric uh, aldol uh, reaction invented by the chemist uh, and uh, because of this uh, the products form uh, they are highly anisotropic selective and uh, uh, it has wider applications uh, in the synthesis of organic compounds through asymmetric aldol condensation to alpha alkylation or to manage reaction and even micelle addition of the carbonyl compounds so different uh, types of reactions involving carbonyl compounds they gave us uh, asymmetric compounds which are highly anisotropic selective in nature so uh, this is what known as uh, hajos parish reaction and uh, basically this is an asymmetric version of uh, robinson annulation which we have already discussed in the previous lectures and uh, from uh, robinson annulation the difference is that here this reaction is catalyzed by s proline and uh, basically uh, this can take place intramolecularly as well as intramolecularly uh, for example if the reaction is to take place intramolecularly uh, then uh, what happens is uh, one of uh, the alpha hydrogens from uh, the ketone part in presence of s proline uh, this will undergo cyclization with the other ketone part of the molecule so uh, when this uh, sd proton is removed uh, this carbon acts as a carbonyl and attacks this uh, carbonyl and this type of uh, ketone is uh, formed through cyclization reaction and this ketone is called as hajos parish ketone so uh, because uh, this uh, carbon uh, which is alpha to this carbonyl uh, so the proton present on this carbon they are very acidic carbons uh, because of the presence of lactone withdrawing carbonyl group so that means uh, dehydration can easily take place at uh, these two carbons with the removal of water we can get alpha beta unsaturated ketones as the product and such type of ketones from hajos parish ketol they are known as hajos parish ketones or hajos parish diketones because here in the substrate we are having uh, diketonic structure or uh, hajos wishard ketone also because uh, this reaction was discovered by these two scientists then uh, intramolecularly uh, we can uh, have uh, the aldol condensation asymmetric aldol condensation products catalyzed by s proline when two different carbonyl compounds uh, they can condense with each other to give us uh, beta hydroxy ketones as the product through asymmetric aldol condensation so here also one of the ketone uh, will act as uh, carbonyl uh, because of the removal of uh, acidic protons uh, by the s proline 
and uh, as far as the uh, mechanism of this reaction is concerned uh, there are uh, many aspects uh, of the mechanism and different scientists they have a different view about that how uh, this condensation aldol condensation uh, take place asymmetrically in presence of asporine and some some of them they think that a carbonyl uh, carbonyl amine intermediate is, is involved uh, in the formation of the product and uh, nucleophilic addition of the neutral enamine uh, uh, which is formed uh, because of this carb uh, carbonyl amine intermediate adds to the carbonyl group uh, along with the hydrogen transfer from the uh, carboxylic acid moiety of the proline uh, to uh, form different types of products. So, uh, there are different models which have been given uh, by different scientists uh, that uh, which type of intermediate is involved in the formation of different types of uh, products uh, in this Hajos Parish uh, reaction. Uh, one model is uh, uh, given by Hajos himself. Hajos and uh, Parish, they propose that there is uh, involvement of enamine mechanism. Uh, but uh, uh, when uh, uh, the experiment was done, it was found that uh, a stichiometric amount of labeled uh, water uh, was used. So, stichiometer, uh, stichiometric amount of uh, water used uh, supports the uh, carbonylamine mechanism. So, because of this, uh, in 1974, they gave uh, hemiaminyl uh, intermediate of this type was proposed by Hajos, and this uh, intermediate is called as Hajos model. So, here uh, this is a hemiaminyl uh, intermediate where uh, Hydrogen uh, of the proline uh, carboxylate uh, moiety uh, is uh, having uh, a bond formation uh, with the uh, ketone part of the intermediate. So, this type of amyaminyl intermediate is formed according to Hajos model. Whereas, uh, 10 years later in 1984, Agami, uh, who also studied the mechanism of this reaction, According to him, an enamine uh, intermediate is involved in the reaction where two proline units, uh, they are involved in the transition state. One proline unit is this one, other proline unit is this one. So, according to him, what happens is uh, the uh, uh, ketonic part of uh, one of the ketonic part of the moiety uh, undergoes uh, ketoenol tautomerism and uh, enol is formed and that enol reacts with the proline uh, with the removal of water and uh, one molecule of proline uh, gets uh, attached covalently uh, to this part of the molecule. Then uh, because uh, the other uh, carbonyl part uh, then uh, reacts uh, with another molecule of the uh, proline uh, moiety and uh, H uh, from uh, this uh, carboxylate uh, gets attached to the uh, nitrogen and uh, this quaternary ammonium uh, part is formed and because of the presence of uh, positive charge on this, this oxygen is uh, coordinated uh, through hydrogen bonding with uh, this hydrogen as well as uh, uh, the nitrogen of the second proline molecule also uh, is involved in the hydrogen bonding. So, this type of intermediate then uh, through uh, this type of intermediate, this hydrogen will be ultimately transferred to this uh, oxygen to form the ketone uh, of the uh, parish uh, uh, to the Hajos parish uh, ketone for uh, ketone formation. Okay. And then in 2001, how uh, how model uh, was given, and according to this mechanism, a single pro uh, proline unit uh, uh, is involved in uh, forming a cyclic transition state. Uh, where uh, the 
carboxylic uh, acid moiety of the proline is involved in hydrogen bonding with the substrate so this is how this hawk model explains the formation of different types of products in uh, hedges parish uh, reaction then uh, the most promising uh, mechanism was given by barbus group in 2000 uh, which is uh, based uh, on the asymmetric uh, synthesis model uh, which is applicable to most of uh, the reactions uh, involving asymmetric synthesis that is uh, jambermin uh, tlexer model Uh, which uh, tells us that the product formation uh, will depend upon uh, either a C phase attack or through re phase attack uh, on the uh, carbonyl molecule uh, in the intermediate stage so uh, this model is based on the uh, bio chemical uh, reaction which is uh, the mechanism for biochemical reaction which uh, was proposed for uh, aldolases as enzymes uh, for the asymmetric aldol reactions in bioorganic chemistry so basically what happens is uh, in the first step uh, the proline molecule uh, reacts with the, the carbonyl compound say uh, acetone uh, molecule will first react with the proline molecule and we will uh, get Uh, this type of uh, uh, alpha hydroxy uh, amine will be formed by addition of uh, this uh, nitrogen part of the proline to the carbonyl group and this will be converted into hydroxyl group and uh, this nitrogen will add to the carbonyl group and this hydrogen is transferred to this oxygen we will get this type of alpha hydroxy uh, tertiary amine uh, is formed then uh, this alpha hydroxy tertiary amine uh, uh, undergoes uh, dehydration uh, with the removal of water and uh, this uh, type of uh, quaternary ammonium hydroxide is formed and this quaternary ammonium hydroxide uh, then changes into the enamine uh, uh, through uh, transfer of uh, proton from here by hydroxyl uh, removes this proton and a carbon carbon double bond is formed and this carbon nitrogen bond will become uh, carbon nitrogen single bond and this is how a stable uh, enamine will be formed uh, uh, during the reaction then uh, the other carbonyl uh, molecule will interact with enamine and this interaction can take place in two ways either by acyphacial attack or by aryphacial attack so uh, as far as uh, both these transition states they are concerned and uh, this transition state is more stable and more favored in place of this transition state which is not favored uh, because of the stereochemical reasons so uh, because uh, the ary facial attack is more favored that is why the uh, reaction becomes stereo selective and only one of the stereo isomer is formed as the product not both the uh, stereo isomers they are formed and then uh, this intermediate then rearranges to give uh, this type of uh, quaternary ammonium uh, intermediate and uh, then water adds to this to give us uh, this type of uh, dihydroxy uh, ammonium intermediate Uh, which then rearranges uh, uh, with the removal of the proline catalyst and formation of the stereoselective product so this is how uh, the carbonyl compounds uh, on aldol condensation they are stereoselectively converted into this type of product and this mechanism uh, is based on zimmerman trexler model uh then there are few uh, examples uh, of uh, this hajos parish reaction uh, for example if uh, we react 
4 n acidine uh, with 3 methyl butanyl in presence of acetone uh, using s proline as catalyst then uh, this will uh, stereoselectively give us beta amino ketones uh, as product with excellent uh, enantiomeric excess of the order of 93% so basically what happens is uh, in the first step uh, these uh, two carbonyl compounds uh, they will undergo uh, stereoselective aldol condensation or asymmetric aldol con condensation in presence of asproline to form uh, a stereoselective uh, beta hydroxy ketone as the product then that beta hydroxy ketone will react with the pour an acid in uh, with the removal of water H from here and OH from the beta hydroxy ketone and that is how we will get beta amino ketones as the product uh, nature spectrum. Then another example is uh, when uh, cycloheptan 2 in one own uh, these types of uh, alpha beta unsaturated ketones uh, they reacted with uh, these types of uh, active methylene compounds like diisopropyl malonate because of the presence of uh, these two carbonyl groups uh, the hydrogens present on this carbon they are very acidic uh, and they can be removed very easily that is why such type of compounds they are called as active methylene compounds so when these active methylene compounds they react with alpha beta and saturated ketones in presence of uh, rubidium uh, asproline uh, as the catalyst then uh, the asymmetrically uh, this uh, active methylene compound uh, undergoes 1 to Michael addition across this uh, carbon carbon bond uh, to give us these types of ketonic products uh, with the 59% uh, enantiomeric excess. So, uh, enantioselective uh, Michael addition takes place in such type reactions. So, uh, 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 this uh, link is also available for a related video lecture uh, that is on asymmetric aldol conduction. So you can uh, listen to this lecture also, uh, which can further explain that how asymmetric aldol condensation could take place. Now these are the references which have been used in preparing this lecture. Thank you very much.